In this presentation we are going to look at how to compute competence intervals, intervals for regression coefficients. So here's the data set we're going to use. The reason I picked it is it is it is because very accessible. So I'm going to call my variables x1, x2, those are the independent variables or the predictor variables, and also y, which is the response variable or the dependent variable. And I'm going to construct them using an inbuilt data set in R called the MT cars data set. And I'm going to use the variables WT and HP as X1 and X2 respectively. And for Y, I'm going to use MPG miles per gallon. And I'm going to construct, construct this fitted model here, and I'm going to call it FIT, capital F, IT, small IT. Uh, so let's have a look at that there. That's it inputted into R. Now, let's have a, firstly, let's look at the regression coefficients. There they are there. So these are the regression coefficients for the constant and both of the uh, predictor variables x1 and x2. So what we want to do there is find out the confidence intervals for these estimates. So what I do is I specify the name of the fitted model and I get a 95% confidence interval for each of the three estimates there. So in the first case, for the constant 37.227, we get a confidence interval of 33.957 to 40.497 and so on. That's just stating it to three decimal places. Likewise for x1 and x2. Now, what we could do is we could change the level of the, uh, the default confidence level is 95%, I'm in the middle here. And we can adjust it by changing the level equals argument. Uh, for example, level equals 0 0.90. So let's go back to R here. Let's try that out. Uh, level equals 0 0.90. So rather than 2.5% and 97.5%, the quantiles here correspond to 5% and 95% and a difference of 90% between the two. So what we have there are the, is the 90% confidence interval for each of the three estimates. Now, suppose I want to just compute, I'm going to clear the screen here actually. Suppose I just want to compute the confidence interval for one particular value or one particular uh, variable. What I would do there is I would use the param argument, so x2, let's say. Essentially, I'm suppose I was only particularly interested in x2 and find the confidence interval for x2. I would use the param, P-R-A-M, argument to compute, to specify that particular variable. And that ends our presentation.